So take me through the process. If a patient, because you say no more dentures, nobody should right. be wearing a loose fitting denture. Yeah. If a person either has a bunch of bad teeth that need to be extracted and need implants, mm -hmm. or if they're wearing a denture, mm -hmm. what are their options in your practice as far as dental implants? I mean, I think if you have a, a, option, a denture option, it's, you know, less century treatment, okay? Uh, acrylic plastic teeth in your mouth that comes in and out, a lot of food gets underneath. I hate that option. It's an option, I don't like it at okay. all. Okay. So that would be my least favorite option. Now you can place two implants, snap in, snap out, but it's still a denture. Same material, you just have the, the snappers. Okay. Okay? Uh, you can go one extra step, place four implants, a lot more stable, snaps in, snaps out, same thing, still a denture. Now, what's the issues with that? Food gets underneath, the teeth wear out because they're plastic, even though if you get the best teeth, they're still kind of a hard composite. Okay. Um, and they eventually will wear out. The snappers wear out. So you're gonna have a continuous maintenance and expenditure okay. that people normally don't realize and they don't mention. So after they're in, they have to keep spending money every year to do this, to do that. And after so many years, they have to redo the teeth because they're worn out and they don't know about it. The next step over it's, you can place about four or five implants, so not very many more implants than the last option and have porcelain teeth fabricated. That, that don't come out. That do not come out and they do not wear out too. So the, the maintenance, when I say maintenance, is like uh, if you have repairs, wear out teeth or, or having to spend money year after year, that's gone. So you're gonna spend a little more initially, but the peace of mind, uh, it's gone. Oh, I'm sorry. Eesh. The peace of mind is there, so you don't have to worry about it anymore on the spending money every year trying to maintain. And what about the upper? Uh, let's say you have to remove all their upper teeth. Mm -hmm. An upper denture is pretty good, right? Because of the suction. Yeah. I don't know. Do you, do you, I don't know. Do you wear a denture? No, I don't. Oh, good to know. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting for you to say that. Yes, there's more suction than the bottom, but you have the roof of your mouth covered with a thick so it's no good. acrylic. It's no good. You're going to have to relearn to talk. You have to, you're not going to feel food. You're not going to taste food the same way. Okay. You're not going right. to taste the drinks, the wines, the whatever you like, even temperature. You don't feel it anymore because you have like that protection covering every single corner of your mouth. It's not just the, the roof of your mouth. But it's the, the sides, all, every single corner needs to be covered. So, so what's the answer? Well, the, the easy answer is implants, right? So you can place implants, take all that extra material out. So the, the, the ceramic material stay connected to the implant so there's no gums covered. So you can do like five or six implants on the top right. and permanent teeth that don't come out. Yeah. Full arch of teeth. Yeah, and there, uh, what we do in the practice, there's a lot of people that does uh, acrylic teeth, fix acrylic teeth. We opt out of it because I've been doing this for so long and I've, trust me, I've done the acrylic teeth. Eventually they break. Okay. And now you have a bigger expense because you know, we need to remake it. So as a, a, a option in our office, we do not even uh, really do do? offer. We normally customize ceramic uh, prosthetics or teeth. Yeah. So what's the answer? So the answer is you just place five to six implants. You have a full new custom designed uh, arch of teeth in your mouth. No roof of the mouth cover. They don't come out. They do not come out. It's fixed. You can eat whatever you like. You can bite into whatever you like and life is good again. So is it true? I mean, you could be like 80, 90 years old and get this procedure done. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. With upper and lower teeth. What's your oldest patient? Oh, this implant implants, yeah. Uh, 94. 94. Yeah, and that's a, it's a funny story because I rec I judge her. We're talking about judging or not. I judge her. She's, she's 94. She had half of her mouth infected that needed to take the teeth out. We took her teeth out. I mean, I was talking about options. I like, hey, have, you know, get your denture, you know. She was, she got so mad at me. How dare I? offer her a denture. She's 94, she kept her teeth her entire life, and now in her last stretch, she's gonna live miserable. She was 
she she was not a happy person and it was my fault so because you were trying to save her money by giving her a denture at 94 right and I, and then i was like i'm sorry i mean i just you know so i said hey what is the other option? i want something fixed i was like okay so you need to have implants and uh, trust me i could not even place the implant at the same time we took it i was so infected we had to graft it so before you know it with her she had the teeth done fixed and she's chewing again she's i mean She's so happy, you cannot believe, 94, nine, now 95, she's the happiest person. So when you hear 70-year-olds or 80-year-olds saying they're too old. No, I mean, we show some pictures of, of the age uh, or the, the, the elderly people. I mean, depends how much you value their teeth, right? I mean, you do not know what you're missing out just because you're 70, 80. I mean, again, there's options that we can customize to you. There's more affordable or less affordable, depending on what you want, right? Okay. But it's, 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 I mean, it's a life-changing experience, even on whenever you're 70s or 80s.